What's up, guys? Welcome to our latest episode of MAN Quick Stop. I want to learn more about the intense drive power and the robust safety of four-wheel drive van systems. So today, I'm going to be putting the MAN TGE 4x4 to the test. Joining me is the expert in vans. Martin Imhoff. He will be answering all my questions. But we're not only going to talk about this smart four-wheel drive system, of course, I want to see the full MIN power in this TGE 4x4. I'm going to take this vehicle off-road myself. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, it looks oh, good. Oh, oh. And right on. Yes. Woo. <laughs> Before we hit the road, I need a quick tutorial by somebody who's used to driving this baby in all different kinds of conditions. Joining me is Profi Drive trainer Andreas Green. He will explain to me all the most important functions. Are you ready? Here in Germany, we know a thing or two about adverse weather conditions, with snow in the winter and lots of viral weather in spring with rain and slippery roads. That is why it is super important that the people in the transport industry, who are always on the road, no matter the weather, can rely on their vehicles 100%. I can tell you, with the MAN TGE 4x4, you are safe on the road. Whether on bed surfaces, dirt, sand or snow, this van has got you covered all four seasons. But what features should a van have to ensure this level of safety? Since the TGE 4x4 has already proven its capability in many ways. Martin Imhoff is going to tell me all the things that make the MAN TGE 4x4 so special. Hello Martin. Hi John. I'm super curious. What makes the TGE 4x4 so special? And normally if you think about a 4x4, you imagine, wow, it's big and it's heavy and sure. it's expensive and it's high and um, sometimes it's not so easy to operate. You have to stand still with your van if you want to engage the 4x4 mode and you have a reduction, different differential locks and you have to also consider the right sequence, how to operate and engage the differential locks. The TG is different. The TG is smart, is um, automatic and is fully integrated. When you say smart, what do you mean by that? Yeah, smart means there's only 30 kilogram more weight in comparison to his rear-wheel driven brother. Also, the loading height is the same, so it's very easy for you to load and to unload. It comes directly explained, so it's not a conversion. It's the most inexpensive one in the segment. That's good. It costs just one third of the traditional 4x4 traction system. This means smart. Less expensive, money is always a factor, we love to hear that. But the technical features, I mean, what do they, do they mean exactly? If you drive on a normal road and it's dry, you drive like with a front wheel driven vehicle yeah. with very low fuel consumption. Okay. But if needed, the system automatically activates the 4x4 system and it distributes the necessary torque automatically between front and rear axle from zero to 100% or vice versa. So exactly where you need the traction, you get the traction. Especially if I'm off-road in a situation where I can't trust all the four wheels, then the system takes over? It takes over, yeah, and very fast. And faster than Usain Bolt. And I think you know him, Usain Bolt, the world champion in 100 sure. meters. Faster than he comes out of his block in 0.8 milliseconds. Really? Like like this? Like this. And if this is not enough, you still have the opportunity and the possibility to engage the differential lock on the rear axle electronically. And this one is a mechanical differential lock and then you have the full torque on the wheels and you can go up the hill. So that means even like in very special dangerous situations, I can always trust the vehicle 100%. The TG4x4 gives you comfortable and safe ride on-road and off-road. Amazing, but Martin, wait. Usually, if I activate the 4x4, all the other assistance systems are disengaged. Yeah, normally that's the case, exactly. As a TG, it's different. All assistance systems are active and cross-linked to the 4x4 system. So they stay active also during 4x4 mode. If it's a front assist or the lane assist, everything works. So I don't have to choose between 4x4 and assistance systems. I have it all included. But for example, if you have to transport more heavy things, do you also have a version for a vehicle with a high gross vehicle weight? Yes, for customers who prefer more traditional 4x4, we have also this version in our offer as a TG with a separate transfer case and a propeller shaft to the front axle. And with this, we also can carry a gross vehicle weight up to 5.5 tons. Really? And other in that case, all assistance systems are active and 
the loading height is the same like at his 4x2 brother. Same technology. So safety is always guaranteed. But I mean, how about real extreme weather conditions like heavy rain, deep snow, deep sand? Oh yeah, deep sand is the most severe condition for a 4x4 yeah. vehicle. Yeah, but for example, um, we participated in the rally Eicher de Gazelle. It's a rally specific for women and it took place in the American desert. Ooh. Yeah, it's a rally a little bit like the famous Paris Dakar rally. And for this, um, we prepared um, such a TG 4x4, but only in terms of safety. We put a safety cage inside to protect Stephanie and her co-driver. And we have some sand tires on this um, TGE and a specific damper setting, but that's it. The powertrain is completely the standard one. The engine, everything is pretty much the everything same. Everything is the same. We had um, for sure a protection plate yeah, under okay. the engine and the gearbox that we had, do not have any damages um, during the rally, but um, technically we did not modify anything on the engine and the gearbox and the 4x4 system. Wow, so I could buy my, one myself and like modify it a little? Yeah, you can participate in the American desert if I was a woman. Thank you, Martin, so much. I mean, all these functions of the TG 4x4 sound very promising. You know what? I want to try it myself. You should do it now. Yeah? Okay, deal. I'm gonna take this baby outside, but before I do so, I need some more facts and practical tips. I invited Andreas Green. He is from MAN Profi Drive. Hello Andreas. Hi John, how are you? Fine. What do you do with MAN? MAN Profi Drive is at least driver training which we support all over the world in more than 40 countries. We have more than 130 trainers which support our customers in the use of the vehicles, in the use of a van, but as well buses and trucks, on road and off road, safety training, load security, the whole bunch they need. Wow, what can you tell me about this van? Yeah, let's start in the beginning here in the backbone, our frame. We have a quite massive frame to bear all the forces which are coming from the axles. This is, by the way, the standard frame. It's X-Factory already so strong. We have a massive axle. We have a special tire here, but even as well with the standard tires, it's pretty, pretty good. We have a big travel a distance here for the spring for the suspension and the heart is our drivetrain. Let's have a look here. You see it? It's the TGE 3180. So it's a three and a half ton chassis with 180 horsepower. It's a four by four. You get the four by four for each configuration you want to have in a single cab, a double cab, a panel van, even a bus chassis, whatever you want, independent which engine. Each and every TGE is available with a 4x4 configuration. Let's hop inside. Huh? Here we are in our off-road van 4x4. And what is your first impression? You say van, I say car. I mean, from the inside, it looks, looks like a car. Exactly. And we have a lot of features similar like in the car and not only the look alike is but as well comfort and driving habits are the sure. same and one we are missing in science is at least that what we always have in our mind when we talk about off-road these long levers everywhere we sure. have nothing even no. are you able to find a button to activate the off-road mode you want me to look for one that makes no sense to look There's for no, one huh? because there is no one you remember correctly what martin said sure. um Everything is automized. It's a van for a normal driver, for a handicraft man, for somebody with his caravan towing. Um, and we want to do it as smart as possible. The only difference to the 4x2 vans is that we have here available uh, a differential lock for the rear axle. But this and as well, all the function of the assistance systems, it's much easier to explain when we are driving on road. You know what, all this to me looks pretty smart. Very cool. <laughs> Let's try. Gentlemen, please start the engine. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, here's Captain John Friedman. Welcome on board. <laughs> and fasten seatbelts. So this is the MAN test area. This is one of uh, the test tracks we have. Whee! Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, look oh, good. Oh, oh. And left again. Left again? Yeah. Second gear, okay. Yes. And throttle. I was thinking like like it would slide a little more. Oh, oh, oh. No, no. Straight on. Straight on. Yes. Woo. Shaky, shaky. And hurry up. Hurry up. Woo <laughs> it's so much fun. But slow 
lower now because okay. I want to do something different. Yeah. I want to go up that hill. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. This is for emergency services, but it's here exactly. And now continue. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And this is like... Whoa, whoa, continue, whoa, whoa, continue. Whoa, 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 a little whoa, whoa, bit whoa, whoa. less throttle, but continue. Whoa! Wow. <laughs> yes, sir. Touchdown! Yeah. <laughs> but it's... And the crest is a bit small, but you don't see anything. Woohoo! Here we are! Thank you, Andreas. Hey, that was cool. What an experience. Would Very you nice. trust me as a driver? Absolutely. And I trust you as a trainee. Thank you so much. Perfect. It was a pleasure for me. me Thanks too. a lot. Okay. Stay safe Take and healthy. Bye-bye. Wow, what a ride. Amazing. You know what? There was not a single moment when I didn't trust the TGE 4x4 technology. Always safe, always best traction. I was going uphill, I was going downhill. No slipping, nothing. You know, totally trustworthy. And you? Do you have any off-road experiences with a 4x4? Let me know in the comments below. Have you heard of the Truckers World Community by MAN? You can take advantage of many benefits and share your experiences with the Truckers Community worldwide. Thanks for joining me on this ride and see you next time.